us because Melanie Ranshaw joins us now from Geneva. Melanie is the co-chair of RBM Partnership to End Malaria. Thank you very much indeed for your time, Melanie. What do you think of this report in The Lancet? Is it realistic? Um, yes, um, we are the RBM Partnership to End Malaria. So it is very much our intention to, in our lifetime, see malaria eradicated. Um, there has been very careful consideration and analysis of, um, of what tools are needed, how many resources are required, enhancing political will, making sure we stay on track, that we don't lose focus, and that we build all of this on a strong health system in countries. But with all of these things considered, that it is possible to eradicate malaria in our lifetime. And the date of the, um, the report, of course, is 2050. Yeah, the health system is absolutely critical, of course, because malaria doesn't necessarily have to kill anyone who actually contracts the disease. So I suppose we used Africa in our introduction as an example because that's one continent where people are particularly vulnerable because of the health systems that are in place. So these experts say that $2 billion extra every year are needed. The 2017 figures, according to the WHO, say about $3 billion were put into fighting malaria. So what would you do with the extra $2 billion? So certainly it's about ensuring that everybody is covered and everybody is reached. So particularly women and children living in remote rural areas, how can we enhance their access to the health system? And one of the ways we can do that is through integrated community case management, which makes sure that the illnesses that are killing young children um, are addressed at community level so they have access to drugs and treatment. It's also about ensuring that every child, every pregnant woman, as well as the entire community, are sleeping under an insecticide treated net. And that um, if the houses are being sprayed by insecticide, that those houses are sprayed on time with the, um, with the right insecticide. And then at the same time, there is always a battle with both the mosquito and the parasite. Um, they develop resistance to both the drugs and the insecticides. So we have to have constant innovation to make sure that we always have a commodity that is effective so that when you take your anti-malarial drug, it completely clears the parasites, and that when you sleep under an insecticide-treated net, the mosquito dies. And so continue to, continuing to invest in research and then making sure that these new commodities are immediately introduced and that they are affordable are uh, also very key. And so some of these extra resources will be required to make sure that new commodities can be reaching those who most need them. But as you say, nobody should die from malaria. Um, it's treatable and it's preventable. And the numbers are absolutely staggering. Again, reading from WHO documents in 2017, an estimated 219 million cases of malaria in 87 countries. Why are we now, in 2019, looking at a story where experts say, look, it could actually be in 30 years that we can eradicate it completely? Why has it taken so long? It's, it's a very difficult disease to control. Um, as we all have mosquitoes everywhere, and the mosquitoes are very effective at passing on malaria. Um, but at the same time, the health system needs to be strong. Um, there has to be sufficient resource investment to make sure that we don't get distracted. Um, and we have actually come a very long way. I think it's why we've started to think about eradication in earnest. We have saved more than 7 million lives through our uh, malaria control efforts since 2000. We have prevented over a billion malaria cases um, in that same period. And we've halved the number of people dying from malaria, more than halved. Um, so I think we've reached the point where we've had significant success and now we really have to ensure that we push on and achieve the, um, the goal of eradication so that we can end this disease once and for all. Melanie, really appreciate your uh, spending time with us on TRT World to talk about this important story. Melanie Renshaw from Partnership to End Malaria in Geneva.